a lot of people think when the milk teeth come through, you should stop breastfeeding. All it comes down to is the, the, the mother and the child. It should be a mutual decision between both of them. Off-grid parenting is moving towards self-sustainability and being a bit more free-range, less institutionalised. The Allen family adopts an all-natural approach to every aspect of parenting. When I fell pregnant, I very much felt that I didn't want any medical intervention and so for me the, the only way to achieve that was to step out of the system. We did receive some very interesting um, messages such as, what if your choices end up in your child being born dead? Um, which then obviously added to our own stress. Well, I was convinced in trusting Adele. I trusted that she just knew her body and that she knew her mind and that she, she wouldn't do anything to jeopardise it. Lotus birth is basically, you don't cut the cord, so it, you, you let it naturally fall away. And um, you kind of wrap it up and treat it with salt and keep it clean. For both of my births, it took six days to fall away naturally. <laughs> Coming out. Perhaps controversially, Adele and Matt have decided not to inoculate either of their children. I don't see there's any need to um, start injecting foreign substances. The kid's health is, is just as important as mine. If I had something serious like cancer or such, um, I would definitely take the natural path. Okay. Breast milk can be used for, for conjunctivitis or eye infections. Um, it's, a, it's a sterile substance, obviously. It's coming right out the body and it's at the perfect temperature of all the living enzymes. Adele breastfeeds both of her children, Ulysses, aged five, and Astara, who's one. A lot of people think when the milk teeth come through, you should stop breastfeeding. And I really think it, all it comes down to is, um, is the, the, the mother and the child. It should be a mutual decision between both of them. It's something that's just as natural as a hug. It's, it's a connection. Adele has some strong views about stricter parenting styles. Traditional parenting methods that I guess rub me up the wrong way is the, the, the cry it out method for young babies. Okay, we're humans, domesticated, we live in houses, but the, the baby has still got that in their DNA from when they used to be a hunter-gatherer, you know, their ancestors, and they need to feel safe. It's highly dangerous and in my opinion it does constitute um, a form of neglect and child abuse. <laughs> The family is used to criticism of their parenting method. I was walking with a star outside the shop and, and she's barefoot um, and it's, it's, it's a local shop on a main road and so yeah there is, there is dirt, there is the potential for glass and for hazards and, and, and so a gentleman noticed this and said you do realise your daughter's not wearing any shoes and all I turned around and simply replied is, is it's the greatest way for her to feel life. To, interact with life, to get a feeling of the sensation beneath her feet. The parents homeschool Ulysses from their one bed flat in Brighton. So we all sleep in the same room and it works out quite nice for us. And he pretty much picks his own bedtime really, but as we don't have a school routine in the morning, he's able to then wake up when suits him as well. We feel we'd like them to, to learn in a natural Free range way. It's basically taking a lead from the child's interest and seeing what they gravitate towards. Because I'm schooling kids, they tend to um, pick up reading and writing in their own pace at a bit later age. I don't have an issue with that, there's no need for him to be able to read and write at this age anyway. So these are a few examples of things that Ulysses has access to as part of his home education. This is an arts and crafts box with paints and collages and, and glue and all sorts. And he really just um, comes and uses it as he pleases. You know, it's, it's much more important to us than a, a big set of plastic toys to, for them to be interacting with the animals and the plants. and and learning about the environment, basically. I think this style of parenting is, is definitely um, increasing in popularity with a lot of celebrities now integrating aspects of attachment parenting into their lifestyle and bringing it to the forefront in the media. They have fun, they smile, they laugh, I smile, I laugh. And it's 
for me it's building a, a bond of trust. Daddy. <laughs>